Ó, é meio ajudar um pau me hum. Oh, I'm a little. Yeah. All right, Rude Girl TV, you're the first one to actually comment something on here. So big up yourself, Rude Girl TV. Original one done in the building. Oh, and thank you, Road Girl TV. No, 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 Herma Gale say hi. Hi, Herma. How are you guys doing? I'm here what's the topic so to the topic today is Davina Bennett the topic is Miss Universe 2017 I'm not gonna be on here very long either I just wanted to come on here give you guys a little update and talk about a few stuff that has been going on and Herma said she's from Cayman. Big up to Cayman. Big up to all the Caribbean islands. And we're going to be talking about Davina Bennett. And Davina Bennett was the one that represented Jamaica this year in the Miss Universe competition. So, she came second runner-up, which means she came third. And honestly... I was not expecting her to win because of the simple fact that she is dark skin with natural hair. She is too much a representation of black woman. And if she would have won, she would have made black woman become more empowered and they don't like to see black women empowered at all at all especially where natural hair is concerned and where loving your skin color is concerned they like to see you bleach out your skin and look european and have your hair fried dyed and laid to the side basically and south africa was the one that won and quite frankly, South Africa don't look anything like South Africans at all. She looked more European than anything else, which was quite shocking to me. But that's neither here nor there. Quite frankly, I felt like Davina should have won that competition. She deserved every, every bit of that crown but it is what it is this thing is saying what bad connection so with that being said She should have won. She had the most intelligent answer on that stage. She also had the most confidence. That girl exuded so much confidence. She made me feel like I was the one walking on that stage. And I really wasn't walking on that stage. To be quite honest with you. She exuded so much confidence. She was so intelligent. And... She was a great representation for what it means to be a black woman. Okay. She showed that you don't have to be light skin or you don't have to have your hair fried, dyed and laid to the side to exude that type of confidence. 
in yourself and you know have to shake your ass and go down low have low standards to be seen and she actually empowered a lot of people without knowing it because she is the first afro woman with natural hair to make it that far in that miss universe competition and big up to her for that because i know a lot of women not only jamaican but all over the world that has their natural hair feel like for once they were represented for once they are being shown worldwide globally for once they're being represented so it was a very awesome thing to see and somebody asked if i'm from jamaica yes i am born and raised jamaican so i was rooting for her but i know from miss universe track record they don't actually give the person that's supposed to win the crown ever okay casey fennell for example last year she had the short hair and she was the one that was supposed to win to me she didn't win davina bennett came she exuded so much confidence and so much representation for black women of today's society and she didn't win either so with miss universe track record i wasn't expecting anything different from them because they don't have a good track record of actually picking the right person that's supposed to win and i know a lot of people because i, I was watching it live a lot of people were disappointed that miss jamaica didn't win and i was disappointed also because she deserved to win okay she deserved every bit of it i was happy to see her there happy to see a dark skinned woman with natural hair on that stage being represented and she represented not only jamaica she rep she represented women all over the world because pe women all over the world can identify with her so without her even knowing what she did she did an amazing thing for women of color and just to see us being represented there in our natural state like natural hair dark skin and all that it was very very awesome to see it the only thing I ho I wish that she won, but she didn't win. But that's neither here nor there. <sighs> what else do you guys want to talk about? Oh, a little update on the channel. My channel especially. We're in Florida right now. As you guys can see, I'm not feeling very well. I'm very sick, very pregnant. And we're in Florida. So doing a whole lot of stuff um so there won't be as much videos as there normally are on my commentary channel i normally upload three to four videos a day you guys haven't gotten any videos in like two days and that's the reason why saturday we were traveling sunday i was tired i didn't do anything today we had a lot of business to take care of but I had to jump on here really quick and give Davina Bennett a shout out and tell the world that even though she didn't win, we're very, very proud of her. Okay. Very proud of her. Happy to see her represent women all over the world, not just Jamaica on a whole. So big up to her. Big up to all of my island girl them. We run things, things don't run we. And Jamaica, Jamaica is always breaking barriers in these competitions. If you, Casey Bennett was the first girl, first girl ever to be in top five with short hair, with a short haircut. And that was 2016. Davina Bennett is the first African American or black girl to go top three with natural hair so jamaicans keep breaking barriers and sooner than later they're gonna actually have to give us what's due to us so 
sooner or later they have to go do it whether they want to or not we're always breaking barriers we're always representing people and pushing our brand and our people out there it's good to see jamaica in a positive light also on a worldwide stage it was very awesome to see us represented like that so that's all okay that is all you guys can talk about whatever you want to talk about i'm gonna be on here for the next like three to four minutes you guys can talk about whatever you guys want to talk about or ask me whatever questions you guys want to ask because i won't be here for long okay i'm tired as hell been running around all day getting stuff done what what's going on because i haven't been on social media in how many days what's been going on on social media what's been going on in the news kimmy casey said i was so happy to see her with her natural hair you and me both i was a very very happy to see her with her natural hair nicole dryer proud of her still feel better soon brains I'm trying, I'm trying. I feel like I'm getting sicker now than ever before. I don't know why. Maybe because I've been traveling. IG Street Vibes said me glad. Says she make up top three. Raw, she beat out how, how much other woman. Yes, Willie Crew, but with Talawa. And yes, she beat, she beat out a whole heap of people. um ig street vibe say is this going to be your first child yes it's going to be my first child actually and can miss casey get some saltine crackers if it will help i've actually been eating saltine crackers and ginger ale drinking a lot of ginger ale but the ginger ale has have not been stained down this baby does not like it at all at all <laughs> at all so the crackers the baby is fine with but the the ginger ale not hasn't been working so much but it's whatever i'll get over it almost over this herd right here we have a ultra ultrasound schedule um for tomorrow so that's going to be in the vlog channel soon too. And can't wait for that. That's going to be very exciting. Rugal TV said next year a girl with dreads need to enter the competition. Them can't stop everybody. That's true. I think somebody did enter with dreads. But I don't think it was Miss Universe. It was Miss World 2016. So I think somebody should definitely enter with dreads into miss universe nicole allen said drink coconut water i've been just drinking regular water um i think that's the only thing that can stay down or that this child likes i've drink it a half a gallon to a gallon of water a day so that's all like i may even vomit up tea which is very weird and uh, but it is what it is i'm enjoying eating what i can eat and what i crave for but yeah right i'm not complaining i'm enjoying it can you say when you go have the baby i'm gonna have the baby next year and it's gonna be in the middle of summer to give you guys a rough estimate or a rough guess we're not gonna say the exact date until we have the gender reveal and that's gonna come up very shortly and i'm excited about that i'm very excited because i want to do something very creative and we are going to do the gender reveal live so if you're not subscribed to our vlog channel which is brain flow tv we're going to do the gender reveal live on brain flow tv or on soul flow tv whichever one we can do it on we're going to do the gender reveal live so the, when we find out what we're gonna have you guys are also going to find out also so that part is gonna be very exciting i'm very excited about that part so yeah we're gonna have a summer baby summer early summer baby 
and Kimmy Casey say, oh, I'm excited. Yeah, so we're not going to know the gender until you guys know the gender. So we're going to all find out at the same time. And I'm excited about that. I've been planning it so good. I'm so excited about the gender reveal part. So what else do you guys want to talk about? Because I don't know what's been going on in the media at all. Somebody say, okay, good enough. Congrats. Thank you. And I just say, I hope it's a twin. Um, It's not a twin. Sorry. And the legit TV, legit talks. I haven't been on my channel yet. But legit talk TV say congrats on 5k. Thank you very much. I haven't been on my channel. So I didn't know if I hit that 5k mark. And the 5k goal was for December 30th. But I hit it before the goal. So I'm very super excited about that. And thanks to everybody that subscribed. Thanks to everybody that show support. Okay. It's very exciting. And Nicole Allen said, I wish for a girl. Everybody thinks I'm having a girl. Even the dad. Even SoFlo think I'm having a girl. So we shall see what we're having. He thinks I'm having a girl. I think I'm having a boy. But we'll find out. And her Miguel said, I'm happy for you. And my first grandbaby will be here next year also. Oh, that's so sweet. I'm sure the whole family is excited about that. My mom is having two grandkids in the same year also. She's excited about that. Okay. And 90 Degrees Music say congrats and thank you. And Sammy Edwards says congrats and thank you too. I didn't even know that I hit 5k because I haven't been on my channel. I haven't been on social media because I haven't been feeling good. I've just been resting up and getting business done here in Florida. So I haven't even turned on a laptop, go on YouTube, Facebook, none of that at all. So shout out to everybody that subscribes to my channel. Shout out to everybody that supports. I'm excited now. I'm really excited now. So I'm going to wrap this video up, go to sleep because I'm tired. My eyes are shutting down, obviously, you guys can see that. And uh, I normally don't show my face on my videos anymore, but now I'm getting back into the groove of things because I was very pregnant and I did not, I was not feeling showing my face on camera. So... I'm getting back into it slowly, slowly, 90 degrees and big up yourself, Tasha McPherson said hi, hi Tasha, or Tosh McPherson, I can't pronounce her name, hi, so I'm going to get back to showing my face on my videos because I know a lot of people have been commenting and talking about why I'm not showing my face in my videos anymore. But I was pregnant and I wasn't feeling showing my face. I just wanted to do my videos and put them up and get to the point. But now I'm getting back into the groove of things and I want to show my face again. So, yeah, look out for that. But until next time, guys, I'm going to wrap this live video up. I hope everybody have a wonderful day. Rest of your day, rest of your night. Big up on yourself. Thanks for the continual support. Thanks for all the love. And you guys won't be seeing a lot of me. But I'll pop in here and there. Where I can. Because we have a lot to do. Here in Florida. But I'll still keep you guys updated when I can. And Kimmy say you're beautiful. Pregnancy is beautiful. Yes it's very beautiful. I'm trying to enjoy it. And take it in. And it's a blessing so may i try to take it in and bask in all the spoilness that's going on <laughs> so yeah it's definitely a blessing i'm not complaining at all because it's a gift and a blessing so i'm gonna wrap this live video up love you guys don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to your girl here on youtube 
I'm up out of here, man. Deuces.